If you're a budget gamer who's less concerned with 4K 120Hz and more concerned with running any games at all, then this video is for you. Riley here, who's actually gonna be doing some more work here on the LTT channel moving forward, was given the task of taking our previous $69 gaming PC, which frankly was barely deserving of the title PC, let alone gaming, and taking it out behind the shed and putting a bullet in its head. Oh, that's violent. And looky what he found on eBay. A full PC for, get this, $27 US. 27 bucks. And yeah. can it game? Actually, yeah, kind of. And we're gonna show you guys how after this message from Glasswire. Glasswire allows you to instantly see your current and past network activity, detect malware, and block badly behaving apps on your PC or Android device. Use offer code Linus to get 25% off at the link below. We always say that when you set out to build a PC, the most important consideration is what you intend to use it for. That's how you avoid spending too much or cheaping out and hurting the experience. So then, knowing that we weren't gonna be running Shadow of the Tomb Raider with RTX on, we set out with what we hoped would be a reasonable goal, running casual and esports games like Minecraft, League of Legends, Dota 2, and CSGO with Overwatch for extra credit. So. Do you want to run me through uh, run yeah. me through this beauty? So this is a Dell Optiplex 380. Mm. Beautiful machine. It's got an Intel Core 2 Duo E7500 in it. Okay. Four gigs of DDR3 RAM. Okay. And a 160 gig hard drive at 7200 RPM. Beautiful. It didn't come with Windows 10. And a parallel port. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You need one of those. Oh yeah there, bud. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> Drivers for everything. $27. For 27 bucks? Yeah. Dang. Plus shipping. Right. Plus shipping was How another 30, shipping? $37. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> okay, in fairness to us though, if we were in the US, shipping would have been way cheaper. Mm. Yeah, oh, it actually booted up. Oh, nope. see, here's take, another quirk. Take you have a little to, bit there. No, here's another quirk. You have to plug the USB, uh, the mouse into a different USB port. Oh. And then it there works. Are, <laughs> beautiful, uh, wonderful, okay. Now, Optiplexes are more geared towards the corporate or education markets. So while they do tend to have decent networking, this guy's got gigabit, which is nice to have, and reliable components, they lack some of the features that you would normally find in a gaming rig, like a graphics card. There is nary a graphics card to be found. Which isn't to say, though, that we aren't gonna try to run games on it straight out of the box. Um, so what do you got there? I have a crash message. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So oh, beautiful too. You've got matching. I got two. In SLI. Yep. <laughs> uh, even though we did find drivers for everything, that doesn't mean that they're perfect. None of the games we tried to launch managed to successfully open. Yeah. And among other probable issues, we did discover that the G41 Express chipset, which is this little high-tech beauty right here, beautiful doesn't support OpenGL on Windows 10. No. With that said, I mean, what kind of performance were we expecting? Uh, not very good. I just wanted to know, you know? I wanted to believe in something. Yeah. So anyway, it's time to move on to our real plan, which is installing a graphics card. Right. Which, even and though there's a PCI Express slot here, is probably gonna be a little bit trickier than you might think. Yeah. The only graphics cards that actually fit in the case have to be a low profile and single PCI E slot card. Uh, so you're gonna have a hard time finding a modern, any kind of relatively modern card that fits that description. So check this out. This was back in the era when Intel was still trying to flip the ATX standard upside down. So you notice this opens on the opposite side panel that most modern cases do. So a graphics card that you put here doesn't take up this next PCI slot it'll interfere with the CPU heatsink, the parallel port potentially, uh, some of these capacitors. Like it's just, it's kind of a mess. Unless, ooh, you get a little creative. Now, 
Our target graphics card for a system of this caliber would be something like a GeForce GTX 650, which you can find on eBay for anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks, bringing the total cost for this machine right in line with our target, plus shipping. <laughs> Problem is, that is not a single slot, nor is it a low profile card. No. Now what we could do is dremel out this part of the case right here, which, which would allow us to get it to fit in there, but it's a little easier if you just use a PCI Express extender. It'll only cost you about five bucks. Uh, you won't get like a fancy shielded one like this no. for five bucks, but you'll, you could get something functional. So, oh, it does fit all the way in. PCI extender in, card into the other end. We'll just kind of sit it in there. And this system has, come, come, come and look at this, has literally no extra power connectors other than a floppy power connector, which we could actually like cut off and strip and then like solder onto. A yeah. yeah, that's that's probably not a great idea. And we think we've got a better solution anyway, because who needs an optical drive anywho? Let's check this out. Would you look at that? A SATA to PCI Express power adapter. It can fit, you just gotta believe, Linus. Bam! Wow. There we go. Building PCs is fun. So that's it, we can fire it up now, right? Uh, I'm yes. Fired up. It's powered, it's plugged in. Yep. Okay. And we've got DVI output now. And we installed everything with the power cord connected, that's fine. Oh yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that. Wow, that is a dusty, gross card. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Just boots up fine, drivers installed and everything. It's like we've done this before or something. It's, it's almost like we prepare these videos. Anyways, moving on. So once the uh, once you've once you've roused the system from its deep sleep, now we can safely attempt to play some games. I'd say. All right, play CS:GO. CS:GO. Look, that was actually pretty quick. Yeah, Practice I'd go bots. go with bots. Don't don't subject other people. Yeah. So what are we? Uh, what settings are we running at here? No, 720. 720. 720 low. 720 low. Limbo low. <laughs> I'm going right under this computer. Where? No! Wow. Where's he going? That's... Where's he going? Really impressive. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Are you... It's, do you need... <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, were you using the table to cheat? No. Oh, God. God, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> so we're still running at about 50, 60 FPS. That's actually not too shabby. Yeah. Oop. Oh no, yeah, see, you will get some frame drops. Yes. Because when like a the thing CPU, happens. You're gonna kill him with Terrible. a smoke grenade. Yeah, I just, I wanna see what happens to our frame rate when we walk through the smoke. Okay. Particle. So we saw an initial dip yeah. down to like 30, 30, but it's staying in the 35, 40 range. I mean, it's usable, it's usable. Yes, I okay. would like to stop playing now. Okay. So see us go. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Well, next one. Oh, you're, oh, you're, you're gonna teammates. play with real people, your teammates? Well, against AI. That's how you do it. Or do you wanna play just training? No, fine. Well, they don't have to deal with this. Yeah, yeah. We do. Well, they just have to deal with that we're gonna lag out. I don't know, I was getting pretty good ping. No, but we're gonna close the game. Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the gun girl? Cambi and Ezreal. So does everyone else have to wait for our epic hard drive to, uh, to manage to load it? Yes. Hey, we're not the slowest. Are we not? Check this out. This oh. guy's at 40%, Master Yi over here. Dang, dude. Hey! hey. Here we go. Wow! Wow! We're getting like 90, 100 FPS. Look at those graphics. Not bad. Is this even 720p? This looks like 1080. I actually have no idea what settings this is at. This looks pretty good. Hold on a minute, can I just? I'm, how am I gonna kill them? around you, in here? I'm, well, I'm I, gonna kill. We're running at 1080 medium high. What? Dang! Wow! Oh, bad guys! For 70 oh, no, bucks. Guy. For 70 bucks? Yeah. You can play one of the top games in the world, no problem. I mean, can you even get like a, like can you even get like an old Game Boy Color on eBay for 70 bucks? Like that's kind of what I'm talking about here. Like. That's true. We're gaming for 70 bucks. We haven't been killing anybody yet, so. Well, yeah, we should probably get on that. Boom, boom. Hey, Linus, hit. watch this though, watch this. Yeah, that didn't even... Even with a bunch of action going on here, we haven't dipped below 55. Okay, I think we've probably had enough of yep. this at this point. Okay, Minecraft. 
I mean, should I, should run on a potato. But I'll confess, I don't know how to play Minecraft. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay, okay. There's a horse. Can we go get the horse? Let's get him. That's a cow. Well, I didn't say. What I said, get it. I didn't say kill it. What are you, you doing? You said get it. You're a monster. What does get it mean What's if not? What's what? wrong with you? What? If all you were trying to do was harvest kelp and smack fish in the face, which I have done successfully. Picked up some kelp. I mean, that's pretty playable. But watch this, Linus. I guess you didn't see this coming. Let's go down to six chunks. Minecraft has a lot to do with chunks. Okay. If you don't know your chunks in Minecraft, you're gonna be in trouble. Thank you. So it's just a, a little bit of tuning there. Minecraft, 200 plus FPS. Yeah. I was like compulsively playing Overwatch for a little bit. Oh, okay. Is this gonna get you back on the... Uh... Yeah, maybe. I think I'm gonna make it to championships here tonight. <laughs> this year, this is gonna take you all the way. <laughs> oh, I thought it just turned off. The like, what did you do? The graphics card is just loose in there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there's a missing blade. Two, oh, that, two missing blades. That'll do it. You know what? I bet if we ripped off one more blade, that wobble would go away. Let's maybe not do that right now. Right, but then it wouldn't wobble anymore. So we're at 72060, yeah. V-Sync off. Everything, most most everything off. Low, everything. Low, 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 off, low. Off, low. Let's do mystery heroes. Uh, is is there actually a delay when I shoot, or like, is that just an animation, or what? Like, what do you mean? Oh, you, like, do I have to lead the target? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh crap! Well, that wasn't working. Why can't I see people press, through walls? Oh no, you're dead. No, I'm not dead. It's over now. It's not over now. Yeah. yeah when you over. see when you see May, it's over. Oh. Yeah. Blah, blah. Jump, Linus, for your life. Blah 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 blah. Did I get one? Yeah. I got one! I got one! Oh, I didn't get a kill. Yeah. I got an assist. Okay, what's this? What do I do? You're a Zenyatta now. Now okay. you're a robot. Telling me the name of the character <laughs> and like what type of being e. they are. Press E when you see them. Shift is like a yeah, I know. long I, one like and then, a, and I then go. left click is hey, a short get range. get back here. Short. I've had enough of this. This is a bad, exp a, this is a a bad, bad experience. I'm a bad Overwatch coach. Bad experience. <laughs> the, and you're the worst Overwatch okay, coach. Okay, wait. <laughs> so the frame rates we're getting aren't gonna blow anyone away, especially as we get towards newer, more demanding titles. And we're basically limited to 720p and in many cases, low details if we want things to run smoothly. But like, if you're a high school student or something, this can be had for less than a hundred bucks if you get like a, a gray market Windows 10 key or you can otherwise get one on the cheap. So you, I mean, you throw some emulators and stuff on here and this is a pretty freaking adequate experience. <laughs> Adequate is the right word to use, yeah. There are a few things we could do on the cheap to make it a lot better, like an SSD would be a great upgrade, and all you'd really need is an extra SATA cable since there is an extra port on the motherboard, yeah. but you would need a SATA power splitter to do that. Yeah, uh, just make sure that if you're splitting one of the SATA power connectors, you split the one that's going to the hard drive now, as opposed to splitting the one that's going to your graphics card. Even if your graphics card isn't super demanding, we're, we're still kind of, adapting power cables, which isn't necessarily the best thing. Yeah. And if that's not enough, you could still throw in eight gigs of RAM and a 750 Ti or a 950, uh, which might even get you playable frame rates at 1080p because again, we were at 720p low. You might end up CPU bottlenecks though. Um, the fortunately yeah. though, this motherboard should be compatible with cheap quad core 775 processors like the Q6600, which you can get for as little as five or 10 bucks or even free in just like a bargain bin in some case. And you can throw that baby under there. This cooler will handle it just fine. Mm. And even if you made all of those upgrades, you'd still be in the like $200 neighborhood. So all in all, a pleasantly surprising end result. And while I can't say that you guys will have an identical experience because buying used hardware on eBay is always a bit of a gamble, there's also no reason to think that you couldn't build something similar. I mean, hey, if Riley, someone who isn't qualified to review the RTX 2080 can do it, so can you. Great work, Riley. <laughs> Laugh at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's not a laughing matter? Our sponsor, Ting.
<laughs> Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and satisfaction first. Don't speak to a robot. You get put through directly to a person and you pay only for what you use. The average Ting bill is just 23 bucks a month per device and if you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they'll cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to $75. They've got lower mobile data rates than ever before at just $10 a gig beyond the second gig and you guys can head over to linus2018.ting.com to try out their savings calculator today. Go there and when you sign up at our link you'll also get 25 bucks in service credit or towards a new device. So guys, thanks for watching. If you disliked this video or you dislike Riley personally, hey. you can hit that button. Yeah. But if you liked it, That's hit fine. like, get subscribed or maybe consider checking out the link to where the buy the where the the the, 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 the. Thank you. Wow. Uh, where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. If you guys want to see more Riley on LTT, guys, hit that thumbs up button. We will be paying close attention and leave a comment letting us know how you thought he did. Because honestly, I thought this was awesome. This is an amazing value. I did too. For like 50 to 80 bucks, oh, depending value. on not configuration. The, not the video. Oh, you know you're saying the video was amazing. Well, that was I thought you too. said that. Are you really going to play more Overwatch on this thing? Yeah, well, you, you, you've ranked me down. I got to get back up, you know? All right, uh, also linked in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should definitely join. Love ya.